वसुदेवसुत कंसचाणोरमर्दन देवकृष्ण वंदे जगदुरु राइट चैप्टर टू एंड विल बी स्टार्टिंग वर्स ट्वेंटी टुडे न जायते मृयते वा कदाचि न जायते मृयते वा कदाचि भूवा भविता वा न भूय भूवा भविता वा न भूय अजो नि शाश्वत पुराण अजो निश्य शाश्वत शाश्वत पुराण न हन्यते हन्यमाने शरीरे दैट्स वर्स ट्वेंटी ओके द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस वर्स इज for the soul what we call atma for the atma there is neither birth nor death nor does it come into existence after having been born it's unborn eternal constant primeval it's not killed even when the body is slain that bhagwan constantly try to explain arjun so don't worry nanya de hanyavane sharire if you talking about the death if you talk about we going to kill that the body is death will be to that body and not the atma death will be to the sharir sharir is body not to the shariri shariri is atma so the death will be to the deh deh is again body not the dehi dehi is atma again the body constituted of elements right and that undergoes six kind of different phases or you can the wise man has used the word six kind of modifications and that that that, that probably in today's or maybe next week we will will discuss that asti jayate vardate something like that so six kind of modifications to be born to exist to change to grow to decay and to perish but but this six modification applies to the body but the soul the atma remains unaffected by these changes or these modifications the bhagwan explains this fact in this verse here najayate 
स्मृयते वा कदाचिन द आत्मा द सोल अनलाइक ए बॉडी इज नेवर बॉर्न इट्स इटर्नल सो द सेम थिंग भगवान हैज डिक्लेयर्ड इन फिफ्टीन चैप्टर इन द सेवन वर्स मम युवांशो जीवलोक्य जीवभूत सनातन द सोल इन द बॉडी इज एन ईटर्नल पोर्सन ऑफ माइ सेल्फ दैट भगवान हैज वेरी क्लियरली टोल्ड मई युवांशो जीवलोके जीवभूत सनातन एंड हियर इट्स ट्रांसलेटेड हियर दैट द सोल इन द बॉडी इज एन ईटर्नल पोर्सन ऑफ माई सेल्फ द आत्मा never dies only that which is born dies now the atma never born never dies the soul remains unaffected by all kind of changes of all these changes birth and death are the most important one therefore the bhagwan has used najayate which does not born ajo which has no birth beginningless for the unborn and also namriyate nahanyate hanyamane sharire it doesn't die even if the body dies नायम भूतवा भविता वान भूय दिस इम्पेरिशेबल एलिमेंट डज नॉट एग्जिस्ट ऑन कमिंग इन टू बींग अनलाइक ए चाइल्ड दैट एग्जिस्ट आफ्टर बर्थ एंड हैज ए बिगिनिंग एंड एन एंड it's free from different kinds of changes and is without beginning without end so that's why the atma is beginningless and since it has no beginning it has no end the same we use for bhagwan anadi beginningless anant endless okay ajo ajah this soul ajo nitya shashvatam right ajah this soul is never born and that's why bhagwan has used the word here ajah so it is called ajah ajah means unborn नित्य द सोल आत्मा इज इटर्नल इट डज नॉट डिके इन द लीस्ट वाइल द बॉडीज एंड सेंस इज डिके एंड लॉज देर स्ट्रेंथ बट आत्मा स्टल शाश्वत द सोल द आत्मा इज कॉन्स्टंट एंड चेंजलेस पुराणो पुराण शाश्वत इट्स एंशियंट एंड प्रीमीबल जनरली ए थिंग विच बिकम्स ओल्ड does not grow it rather start perishing but the soul neither grows nor perishes the same thing bhagwan wants to just just convince arjun that you are grieving for nothing okay nahanyate hanyamane sharire the soul is not slain 
even when the body is dead. Bhagwan Krishna means to say that the body undergoes, as we have di- uh, uh, discussed just now, body goes, uh, body undergoes six different modifications because it's perishable. While the soul is imperishable. Again, same word, sharir, shariri, sharir, body, shariri, atma, deh, body, dehi, atma. Here, in this verse, Bhagwan has, Bhagwan Krishna has made such a distinction between the body and the soul. Soul, Atma. Body, Sharir. Okay? Again, Atma is known as Shariri. Atma is known as Dehi. As is rarely found anywhere else in Gita. Bhagavan is very distinctively told here. Right? Arjun was grieved after thinking about the death of his kinsman. My family member, what's going to happen? Once we're going to start fighting, okay? People will will, will, will be died, okay? So, Bhagwan Krishna wants to explain to him again, 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 again and again that the soul is not killed. Even when the body is gone. So he should not grieve, right? And that's 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 how the whole Gita started. The first chapter be completed. It says, Arjuna Vishad Yoga, despondency, because everything was set, as 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 we discussed, right? Now they are on the battlefield. Arjuna has to fight and Bhagavan Krishna was there as a charioteer and the moment Bhagavan parked the chariot between two armies, one side Pandava, one side Kaurava, right? And then the moment Arjun saw that, right? He started thinking. So I'm going to. I'm, I'm here to fight, but to, to, to fight with who? Here is my teacher, my guru Dron. Here is my great great grandfather Bhishma. Here are all my cousins, all my brothers, my nephews. Why? Why? And that started making him to think about. And Bhagwan in the second chapter started saying, You should not grieve. You should not grieve. You are here to discharge your duty. So our nature and the nature of the body, when we say our nature, our nature means nature of Atma, nature of Self. So, our nature and the nature of the body are quite different. We, the Self, are not attached to the body, are not mingled with the body. The body is not attached to us. It is not mixed with us. Therefore, at the death of the body, we are not affected at all. By now we have passed through innumerable bodies. <laughs> yeah. There is a good saying in, in, in Sanskrit. Ma, mata pita sahasrani putra dara shatani <laughs> This journey, 
we, we might have thousands of mothers and fathers. Yeah, that's exactly what God says. That by now, we have passed through innumerable bodies. But what difference did it make in our entity, in existence? What loss did we sustain? We remain the same. Mata, Pita, Sahasrani, Putradara, Satani, Cha. We might have hundreds of children. <laughs> Dara, for, for, for the man, Dara means wife. And for the woman, husband. Thousands, hundreds of, hundreds of. The, the, the same thing. Uh, the same thing, Bhagwan is going to repeat in chapter 8 in verse 9 says bhuta grama sa evayam bhutva bhutva praliyate ratra game game vasha patr prabhavatya haragave it 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 will come on the chapter when it come we'll see so similarly at the date of the body we will remain the same. When we say, when, when, when uh, the word used here, we means the self, the Atma. It will be the same. Atma, the whole idea behind this, that Bhagavan says, Atma never dies. The soul never dies. What we see, that is, the death of body. In the 19th verse, Bhagavan Krishna told Arjun that soul neither slays nor is slain. In the 20th verse, which we saw now, he explained how it is not slain. Now, he will be going for the 21st verse. Now in the next verse, Bhagavan explains how it does not slay. Verse twenty one Veda Vinashinam Nityam Veda Vinashinam Nityam Ya ena majama vyayam. Ya ena majama vyayam. Katham sa purusha partha. Katham sa purusha partha. Kam gha. Tayati hanti kam kam gha tayati hanti kam O Parth, Parth means one of the names of Arjun. O Parth, how can a man who realizes this soul to be imperishable, eternal and free from birth and decay, slay? anyone or cause anyone to be slain. Veda vina shinan nityam ya ena majama vyayam Kathamsa purusha partha kam ghate di hantikam The man who realizes this soul to be imperishable, eternal and free from birth and decay, can have no inclination to slay anyone or cause anyone to be slain. He is free from egoism. He has no feeling of an agent in him. Agent Here agent means doer. <laughs> he has no feeling of an agent in him and so actions do not taint him. <laughs> Bhagavan Krishna here has explained that the soul is free from six kinds of modifications. Again, okay, to 
be born, to exist. This is explained by the term Aja. To change, to grow. This is explained by the term Nitya. To decay, by the term of Avyayam. And perish, by the term of Avinashi. Nahanyate Hanyamane Shavire. And here it says, Kam Ghatayati Hanti Kim. Why Bhagwan has uh, used this word that not a slayer, not a slain? Because it's subplot of the ground of battlefield. Here the theme is of a war. The whole Bhagavad Gita, the dialogue between Bhagavan Krishna and Arjun took place on the battlefield. So the theme is of a war. So it's necessary to say so. But he means that the soul is neither the agent. Again, agent is doer. Nor the object of action. Therefore, one while discharging duty should not grieve. While slaying anyone or causing anyone to be slain, but should discharge your duty in accordance with the ordinance of scripture. Very clearly, Bhagavan has mentioned it will come in the 16th chapter. Tasmat Shastram Pramanam De Karya Kari Vyavasitao. You know, in the, the uh, for, our, for our understanding, I am using the word job, right? So, in my job, okay? <laughs> Again, for our understanding, I am using the word job. So, uh, not your job, okay. It's totally different by the grace of Bhagwan I got in this field. So, so many people, you know, somebody says, I don't know, hang on my friend. <laughs> don't come with the somebody. If you say there is something in the scripture, then there is some ground to, 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 to discuss. Otherwise, somebody is someone koi <laughs> egeilu. That doesn't exist. Because Bhagavan has very clearly mentioned in the 16th chapter, I think the last words, Tasmat Sastram Pramanam De Karya Karya Vasitav. Pramanam means what, what, what we should accept, which is told or written in the scripture. So that's the same thing, the very thing Bhagavan has told here. But should discharge one's duty in accordance with the ordinance of scripture. Scripture is Shastra. Shastra niyagna. A thing which is produced, born, certainly perishes. It has to be perished, destroyed. But the thing which is not born, never perishes. We pass through here. <laughs> we pass through 84 lakh forms of bodies. <laughs> and that's why in our day to day practice, the old people always say, Choriasi lag janma. Choriasi is 84. A lakh means. <laughs> <laughs> One leg is hundred thousand, right? So eighty-four lakh forms of bodies, but nobody is laid with us, and we did not stay with anybody. We, 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 it, all, in every every birth, we we, we separate. <laughs> we meet, get separated, and that's eighty-four lakh, right? So, those bodies did not possess this power of discrimination, but only 
this human body has been endowed with it if we don't realize it we disregard the discrimination bestowed upon us by god this is the body where at least granted by almighty where we can think who am i from where i have come where is my final destination and what's the purpose of my life that gita i mean bhagwan tells us through gita <laughs> okay when i was uh, taking my walk today listening to some discourse again if <laughs> if life permits okay i have <coughs> decided the title for my book what happens if it happens definitely the title will be my pilgrimage to gita <laughs> so 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 the so title is decided <laughs> now the <laughs> contents will come because the container is good <laughs> so container is good so contents will be good when it happens it happens and we are talking here about the <laughs> 84 by 8400000 So if it if it is not in then maybe they are bad. Okay, I really wanted to uh, uh, discuss about that that sex modification, sex bhava, vikar. But the loose translation is modification of the body. Asti. जायते वर्धते विपरिमते विपरिमते अपक्षीयते एंड विनश्यते द द द क्वेश्चन इज स्थूल शरीरम किम व्हाट इज ग्रॉस बॉडी व्हाट इज ग्रॉस बॉडी स्थूल शरीरम किम पंचीकृत पंच महाभूत कृतम सत्कर्म जन्य सुखा दुखादि भोगायतन शरीर एंड देन फर्दर इट सेज अस्ति जायते वर्धते विपरीणमते अपक्षीयते विनश्यती षड विकारा वदे तत्थूल शरीर आई जस्ट give you the glimpse of this uh, sex modification we'll try to understand in detail this sex modification of body maybe next week it, it it's not going to take the that much time but we would like to stop today in uh, today's discussion what ever you like credit goes to all the saints all the wise men all the teacher all the scripture what i have studied i have heard i have learned okay and yes the special credit goes to to <clears throat> swami ram sukhdas ji in the sadhak sanjeevani that's our main main books the main main book that's our response book okay pachi kar oh ekta dasik meter ne karan dasik meter ne karan okay so we will do our namaste namaste prayer 
which Arjun did in the 73rd verse of 18th chapter followed by Arte. Okay. Nashto mohah smrudir labdha tvat prasadan maya chuta sthito sme gata sandehah karishye vachanantavah